Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Serena. I do handbag and fashion videos and if you're interested in this kind of content, I would really welcome you to click that subscribe button and join the family. So <laughs> today I have another Hermes unboxing. If you've been following my channel, you know I just unboxed a Kelly 28 in a tube color return style togo leather gold hardware which the whole combo is like a dream to me however it's not brand new it's from fashion file and i got the bag i filmed the video i really liked the color combo the size and everything but as i was playing around with the bag like i don't really mind a bag being used a little bit however the wear on the two sides of the sangle and the creasing part are just different so somehow that little point kind of bothered me a little bit and as I'm paying for so much money on a handbag I feel like I don't want to get a bag that is not like perfect perfect to my standard you know what i'm saying um i kind of want the back to be exactly what i wanted um you know um not like there is a perfect bag in the world but just in my mind if there is something that is bothering me for like one two three days i'm sure it's gonna bother me down the lane therefore i decided to return it back to fashion file and I have to give so much compliment to Fashion File in terms of um, processing, payment, shopping experience, and returning. Everything is just so easy. I love it. Um, then, accidentally, I saw a post from a local person um, who's sharing on social media saying that she is looking to sell her brand new brand new it's really a brand new handbag so she actually just got it last monday and um she has her receipt and it's the bag combo that it's also on my wish list i was except the leather so actually i was thinking in my mind if i ever get a chance to do a special order a la carte at hermes what combo would I choose or what color would I choose or what style and this is exactly what I would choose except the leather uh, but after I got this bag I actually don't mind this leather at all it's just the color shows so good on this color yeah okay without further ado let me just first show you the bag and then I'll give you more details so it comes with this beautiful box, of course. She doesn't have the ribbon, so and I don't really care about the ribbon. And um, I've already opened it to check the bag, of course, you know, since I didn't get it from the um, boutique directly. And of course, I paid a premium on this handbag. I'm going to talk about more of my shopping experience after I show you the bag. And it comes with the pillow, the ring coat, and the care book. So let me show you. So pretty. Oh, can you see it? Ooh. <laughs> it's my beautiful Birkin 25 in the color Nata um, and gold hardware the leather is swift leather so like i said if i do a special order i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna do swift leather because before i got this bag i know swift leather is like the most delicate leather at hms so it's not very hard wearing so i would either go with togo leather or you know epson or you know other more durable leathers so but since I got this, I was actually even testing because um, people were saying, oh, if you have your fingernails um, 
swipe and you would leave a dent or leave a mark which is not the case at all like i literally tested and no i it didn't leave any mark at all so um but this is so beautiful look at this it's like it's it's like a very beautiful cream white color um it's just super nice so the back has all the stickers on and everything so let me open this up and show you and get this filled off first saw the 25 um i was shocked how tiny and small this is so now i get it why people call it like the baby birkin it's really like a little toy <laughs> um but it actually holds quite a lot well i take the felt off i just want to share the retail price here on the screen so pretty look at it um and the back and the inside has the bubble wrap as well as um the lock the key and the closet still plastic wrapped as well and the inside is the same with zipped pocket on the back and a slip pocket on the front so the swift leather is indeed a lot softer but the good side about swift is it's a lot lighter plus this is a smaller size than my birkin 30 so i can feel significantly that this is much lighter than the birkin 30. Um, of course it has the stamp because um, my Birkin 30 is the blind stamp and this is the gold stamp of MS Paris made in France. So this is the perfect bag for me. So I'm definitely going to keep this one um, and enjoy, you know, this beautiful handbag. So because I did purchase this from a reseller, um, not direct from the boutique, so I did have to do a authentication um, just for ease of mind um, the seller did give me her original receipt to see while she gave me the bag in person um, and so because she's local you know so we met up I got a bag in person um, and I got two authentication done one from the famous Barbara baby which is you know the most reputable um, authenticator in MS world um, and she authenticated this back to be authentic and I also got a second opinion from authenticate first and their opinion is also that this is a authentic handbag so I am very happy that I get to get this back I did have to pay way more than you know retail for this handbag but I've been through the MS you know pre-spending game and i feel like the weight and the anxious of what if your essay leaves what if you know you never get your dream bag um like you never get offered for a bag like those kind of worry is i don't know it's like exhausting to me and I do want to get a Birkin 25. I remember my original wish list to my essay was a Birkin 25 or Kelly 25, but she just basically couldn't fulfill my wish. Um, and But then when I told her that I'm okay with 30 as well, she was able to get me the 30 within like, I think a week. Um, so I know 25 is like really hard, not to mention a color like this, right? And the gold hardware is just so hard to come by. Um, so my feeling is if you feel very comfortable with the three seller and you don't want to go hoops and loops with this MS game, then yeah, go for it. And you have the enough fund. Um, if all the price is okay, you can accept it, then go for it because you can get your exact color, um, size, leather, you know, from the resale market. However, if you don't trust the seller or you have too much concern over authenticity issues, um, then I don't think it's worth it because that's a huge amount of money paying for a MS Birkin or Cali handbag. And on top of that, you have to worry about whether the bag is authentic or not. That's just way too much, you know, like no handbag is worth that kind of worry. Um, so yeah, that's just my honest opinion. I'd rather wait 
from in the boutique you know it doesn't matter if you have to wait for a year two years or you know um, or you have to spend more so no matter what you have to spend more right so just be patient um i was actually super against the reseller market when i first started my ms journey um i felt like why do i want to pay extra money to someone else right where if i buy it from the store at least i get something and i can make use of it but then after my first you know birkin journey i felt like it's a good great feeling to get offered a bag in the boutique however the process of waiting worry and although that's my local boutique but i still have to drive like an hour or open an hour to go to the boutique um, and when i were in the store and come back so each trip take at least three to four hours and i have been pregnant the whole process is not yeah not the most pleasant i love my essay she's like the sweetest girl but i just don't want to go through that again um next year at least next year because i'll have a newborn baby girl and with my son i just don't feel like i can handle all those you know all those stress right so i want to kind of focus more on taking care of the family my kids and also going back to work you know focus on more important things than a handbag <laughs> and since i do have the extra money to spend on this particular beauty and it's the combo that i've been dreaming of that's why i decided to just get it um so that's my new handbag as well as my story experience sharing with you guys and also my thought on going from buying a mess from the boutique or reseller market um, let me know what you think i hope you guys like this beautiful handbag i do want to ask my ms expert who are watching my video which bag insert should i get um i got this from zumoni um i like their insert for all my chanel handbags and everything but because this is swift leather i'll show you so when i put the organizer in somehow um do you guys can you see it somewhere like there is a bump um that i can see both on the front and the back when i touch it i don't really feel too much but i don't know if it's, if it's because the swift leather is like too soft and delicate but there's definitely like a line that i can see so i'm a little bit worried that I make a permanent dent on the back i saw most like ms bag owners are using 7rp but that's like so expensive that's like over 400 euros for just a bag insert so i don't know like is it worth the money have you used 7rp please leave your comment down below and i see all the youtubers who are recommending 7rp has a promo code down below so i don't know if it's their promoting 7rp because 7rp is giving them the insert for free and you know in return they are promoting it for 7rp or it's really that good but to me i just feel like that's like way too expensive i do have a my tie insert that i use for my lindy which i like a lot price is a lot more reasonable it's about like 80 something euros and so i'm thinking to use that one but i don't know if that going to leave the dent too or strong enough to hold the structure of um swift leather so if you've used any of the back insert please please do let me know i would really appreciate it i do want to pick a good insert to preserve the back shape and condition as much as possible um, that's that for today's video i hope you guys like the video like the handbag <laughs> if you do please don't forget to give me your thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and thank you so much again for watching i will see you in my next one bye